Hi guys and welcome to the channel. Today we're really excited to be fitting the SIG Energy battery system. This is the first time for us installing it, so let's head inside and take a look at the next steps of the installation. Right, so we are now in the plant room and this is where all the work is going to take place to install the batteries and the gateway and do all the electrical work that's associated with that. So the first thing we've been working on was here yesterday, doing a bit of prep work because otherwise it's going to be a, it would have been a very full on day today. So what we've done so far is uh, we've got, this is the, the existing distribution board for the property and this powers, currently powers all the circuits around the whole house. Now, there are a number of circuits that do, do not require uh, battery backup so we're going to migrate some of the circuits from here over to this separate distribution board so we bought a vertical unit in here because uh, due to space restrictions that's all we could fit and now we have an isolator here which is going to extend the feed to the gateway I'll come back to that in a minute so we're having to rejig some of the mains tails which are currently just going from the meter the free phase meter into the distribution board so we're going to take them out of the distribution board the main one for the whole house uh, they're going to then go into some single pole Henny blocks down there. And then from there, we are going to be directly feeding, as you can see now, the separate distribution board, which powers the non-backup circuits. Then from here, the cables aren't quite finished yet, but these cables are then going to go and feed this isolator, which will go on and feed the gateway, which is going to be mounted on the side of this cabinet. Then from the gateway, we're then going to have the battery system, the actual batteries are going to be mounted on the floor here. And this is going to require some additional, because there's nothing here to, for the batteries to fit to and have a secure fitting so that they don't top on over. They're going to be mounted on the floor plate on the floor here. And then we're going to be constructing some strut supports across the back and down the run, running down the back of the battery system onto some floor plates that are down here a couple of floor plates on the floor and then from the back of the system here we're going to run some strut over to the back wall so we're going to basically stop the batteries from moving uh, backwards and forwards and side to side so that will provide a strong suitable fixing for the for the battery rack So this is where the SIG Energy Gateway is going to be fitted. We've got the bracket mounted on the side of this and we're going to get the gateway itself and drop this into position. So the next step we're taking, we currently got the, the gateway up on the wall. We've got the supply into the gateway and the cable back out the fees back to the original distribution board. We are now going to be using this cable, which is some multi-core stranded H07. This is not really nice and flexible, easy to work with. And this cable is going to run from the gateway, which is on the wall here. And it's going to go through the back of this cabinet which we have got some lovely clearance for. This is really nice and convenient. We're gonna come around the back, use some existing tray that is here, and that is approximately where the batteries are gonna stack, and that cable's gonna make its way to the battery stack. So we have here the SIG Energy 8 kilowatt battery. We've opted for that for this particular system. We have five in total, bringing in a total capacity of 40 kilowatts. The next bit we've got to do is mount the floor plates, and then the first battery drops into place and then we go from there we've mounted up each of the units after that
Right, now we have all the individual battery units mounted onto the floor plate. The last item that went into place was the SIG Energy Controller. That is in place now. And the next step for us is gonna be creating the framework behind to support this whole unit to stop it from tipping over. And then after that, we'll move on to the next stage. Right, we are currently in the process of creating a fixing on the back here. And we've decided to change our original from our original plan. And we've fixed a bit of strut across the back uh, to link these two fixings that connect to the whole system. And then we're gonna run a piece of strut to the back wall there. And that's gonna, we're satisfied that's gonna stop this from tipping front to back. And before we did that, we fixed in all these plates that hold all the battery cells together and the next step after we've uh, done our fixings from front to back is install the decorative edging of this whole system So we now have the fixing in from the back of the battery system to the wall, so this isn't going anywhere. We have most of the decorative panels fitted, and the next step is to get the AC connection between the SIG energy controller and the gateway. Now the installation is complete, the SIG Energy battery storage system is now up and running. The client is now able to charge their batteries on a cheap off-peak rate, which reduces their dependency on the on-peak rate they pay during the day. And the added benefit is that they get battery backup in the event of a power cut. Thank you for watching our video today. If you enjoyed our content, then please do not forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.